To this day, no one has given us a unified theory of what gravity is. The fact that nobody understands gravity was most clearly stated in 1798 by American-born English physicist Benjamin Thompson, who commented, Nobody surely in his sober senses has ever pretended to understand the mechanism of gravity. This statement is no less true today. The first person, of course, to give us a glimpse as to the nature of gravity was English physicist Isaac Newton, who in 1687 showed that for large bodies, the force of gravity is proportional to the product of the masses of the bodies attracting each other and inversely proportional to the distance of separation of the two attracting bodies. In 1915, German-born American physicist Albert Einstein published a geometric theory of gravity in his general relativity theory, which describes the effects of gravity as being ascribed to space-time curvature instead of a force. A few minutes ago, I came across this year 1246 depiction of people walking on all sides of a spherical Earth, and so decided to post up a quick note on gravity. The picture illuminates the fact that, as we stand upright and walk upright, there are people completely upside down to our current position on the opposite side of the Earth. In our daily studies, we may often neglect this fact in our minds as something trivial. The person curious as to what gravity is, however, may be drawn to this depiction of particles attached to a particle. The note I wish to bring up is that it should be possible to explain gravity as being a function of the electromagnetic force. The following chart shows the fundamental particles according to the 2010 Standard Model of Physics. Gluons are particles that hold together quarks inside of nuclei. Photons are particles that hold together atoms and molecules. W and Z bosons are particles responsible for radioactivity. The fourth particle, gravitons, however, are yet hypothetical entities supposedly said to be responsible for the force of gravity for planet-sized or star-sized objects. The following diagram illustrates the operation of the electromagnetic force in the dynamics of the hydrogen bond, whereby the exchange of messenger particles, called photons, act to change the character of the particles that swap them, in this case, those being the electrons of the positively charged hydrogen atoms and the negatively charged oxygen atoms of water molecules, thereby creating an electrical chemical bond between loosely associated water molecules called hydrogen bonds. Next, we can extrapolate this electromagnetic force attachment model upwards to the situation where the 15 element molecule bacteria attaches to a surface called agar, where the bacteria molecule is composed of roughly 100 trillion carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms, among several other associations of atoms. The model currently used to describe bacterial adhesion to a surface is that whereby a van der Waals type of force, which is a non-covalent bond type of attraction or repulsion force between molecules, acts to move bacterial particles towards or away from a surface in a distance of between 1 to 50 nanometers. Again, this entire interaction process is described by the electromagnetic force. By extrapolating this model upward to the scale of humans attached to the Earth, we note that both the human, which can be defined as a 26-element molecule, and the Earth, which can be defined as a 92-element molecule, can be described as being attached by the electromagnetic force, the same force that attaches the hydrogen atom to the oxygen molecule. Thereby, given further time, it should be possible to synthesize a chemical gravitational formulation of gravity.